Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing some American Girl bed sets, loft beds, and bunk beds too. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to so notified every time I upload a new video. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can determine whether or not they'd like to purchase these items. So the first set we'll be taking a look at is a bunk bed set. It's called Courtney's Bedroom Set and it is a part of Courtney's Courtney Moore's collection. Courtney is a historical character and her collection is inspired by the year 1986. And the item retails for $225. So the first item we'll be taking a look at is the bunk bed itself. So there is a top bunk and a bottom bunk. There's no rail at the bottom bunk. It just opens up like so. There's a board at the back of the set with a mirror over in the middle. The board is definitely 80s theme and has a really fun design on it to match the pink on the bunk bed itself. There's a mirror right in the middle of the bunk and there's a total of two shelving units to display the different accessories. One is located right above the bottom bunk and the second one is located on the outside of the bunk bed. So let's move the bed over to the side so we can see the features over there. So here we have the shelf over at the top and then the design on the backboard is so interesting. It's green and blue and there are some yellow and pink stripes at the bottom. There are a total of two sets of hooks. You're able to attach the pant hangers and the regular hangers that are included in the set as well. And here we have a view of the back of the bunk bed. We have the railing over the top, but the main part of the set is completely plain. Though the bed itself is quite heavy since the rails are made out of a metal material, so the set is quite sturdy. So just before we take a look at some more of the accessories that are part of Courtney's bedroom set, let's go ahead and set up the bunk bed first. So now it is time to set up the bunk bed and we'll be setting up the bottom bunk first. So the first item we have here is the mattress itself. It's a lovely teal color and that goes right at the bottom. And the next item is the comforter, so there's a total of two different sides to choose from. The first side matches the mattress itself, and then over on the other side, there is a rainbow print. So there's a total of two sets of rainbow, and it's very bright and colorful. And this side actually matches the pillows that are part of the set, so I'm going to be choosing this side. The pillow also has a total of two different options to choose from. So on one side it's teal, and then the other side it has this rainbow print, and then if you line it up, to the stripes it looks like it's a continuous rainbow and then as for the other side you can have it matching as well so it looks like it's a really large rainbow that loops all the way around the bunk bed the set does come with one decor pillow and it is of the pac-man and this is such a lovely addition to the set as courtney loves the video game so i think that ties in with her storyline perfectly the next step is to decorate this top shelf. So first off, we have the telephone and a dress book that can go over to one side. And then one of my favorite items in the set would definitely have to be the phone. It's so interactive and I just love how it's clear so you can see what it looks like inside and how the phone works. When you open it up, there's numbers on this side and on this side there's some information as well. There is a button which you can switch on and it makes a telephone ringing sound and it also lights up too. And the cord is a bright yellow color to match the bed. So I'm going to add that over to the other side, right next to the telephone book. And just before we organize the accessories over to the back of the bunk bed, I've just organized the top bunk here and I've added the mattress and the comforter and I just placed it over on the teal side so I can show you what that looks like. And then we also have the pillows as well and they match the entire bed. There is no decor pillow, there's only one, so I've only added it to the bottom bunk. It would have been really nice to have a decor pillow for the top bunk as well, so it matches. So let's add some more accessories over to this back shelf. So the first item we have here is the plant. It's surprisingly quite tall and it's made out of a plastic material. We'll add that over to the side there. And then the next item I wanna add is the book ends with the books. So we have one side and then there's the three books. There's the Sarah Plain and Tall, the diary, and then also Molly's surprise book. And we'll just stand those up and then I'll add the other side of the book end so they all stay up. There are a total of two hangers and two pant hangers included in the set. So here we have the regular hangers. They have a star design and they're yellow and pink to match the color scheme of the room. So I'm going to add one of the hangers over here and then the other one right behind it. I love how they're angling downwards so you can see the different outfits once they're added to the hangers. And then here we have the pant hangers. In case if you're wondering, they're made out of a plastic material and they're both pink and yellow again. So we'll add one over to the top here and then we'll add the other one right next to it. And since the posters are all different sizes, I just need to figure out exactly how I want them displayed on the backboard. 
The bunk bed set itself is really great quality and the accessories are perfect for the 80s too. So let's go ahead and move right along to the next opening. The next set we'll be taking a look at is Gabriella's loft bed. Gabriella is a retired Girl of the Year doll and this set was a part of her collection. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me the set so I'm able to open and review it on my channel. When the set was available at American Girl, it retailed for $225 and it does come with quite a few different pieces and it's all wrapped in plastic so I'm just trying to remove all the pieces from the set set itself so I'm able to take a look at all the different items. It does come with multiple different accessories as well. Gabriella loves poetry, art, and dance so a lot of the accessories included in this set will be themed to those activities. And the set itself is mainly a teal and purple color and this section here is the side table and then this here is the back of the loft bed and there are a few accessories tucked into this storage compartment. This section is the top part of the loft bed, so where the mattress is stored, and this extra item holds up the loft bed itself. And just before we talk about the loft bed itself, I'm going to go ahead and build it. There are instructions, so it should be pretty simple to build. There are three main pieces at the bottom that just need to be attached together, and then finally that top part of the loft bed too. Right now I'm just adding some of the postcards onto the backboard and adding some accessories into those storage containers too. And in front of the paper, I'll just be adding a pair of scissors. So one box can go on the floor on this side and the other side can go into that storage unit right at the bottom of the loft bed. The light can go right in the corner here in one of these display shelves next to the picture frame. And the perfect place for the stool can go right next to the desk with the poetry journal just laying on top of it and a pen of course as well. And just to add an extra item to the front of the wall here, I'm just placing down one of the pictures that were included in the set. And then over here, this space seems to be a lovely addition for the tablet. And then right underneath that, I'm adding the drawing journal and another pen. And rather than using her desk as a workspace or a school space, I'm going to set it up as a painting and arts and crafts scene. So we have a painting right at the back, and then I'm just adding all of the paints, the paint brushes, and the small art box as well. As I said before, there are a variety of different paint tubes that are included in the set, so I'm just adding all of the different colors in the leftover space, and there's one more to add right at the back. And just before I organize the bed, I'm adding the art smock to the hook in the corner. So the first item for the bed is, of course, the mattress, followed by the comforter, and then the pillow, and finally the small little throw pillow as well. Here we have an overview of Gabriella's loft bed. What I really do love about the set is that there is a desk section at the bottom and there's also some shelving units and a storage section right at the bottom as well. And of course there's the bed section at the top. So there are so many different features to the set itself. I also really do love the art themed accessories and they can also be used not in this room setup but they can also be used as miniature accessories as well. As I said before, the set is no longer available, so if you do manage to find it, I definitely recommend purchasing it. It's really great quality, and the accessories are really realistic too. So let's move right along to the next bed opening. This furniture accessory set does come with a bed, and it is called Kira's Comfy Platform 10, and it is from Kira Bailey's collection, and she was the girl of the year for 2021. This item is one of the main feature pieces a part of her collection, and it retails for $225. I'm going to set up the Comfy Platform 10, and I will be adding the different accessories too, so you're able to see what it looks like completely set up. So since it is meant to be a platform tent, it's meant to be raised off of the ground, so all I'm doing right now is adding a few attachments to the set. And there's also an attachment at the front of the tent to be able to add in some stairs. And there's a clip on either side of the tent itself, so it should be able to stay. The set does come with the cover that you can place over the tent itself, and there are a few connectors and poles so it's able to stay up. So all I'm doing right now is connecting the connector and the poles together like so. There is a small little instruction booklet, so it's really easy to follow along so you know exactly what to place where. As you can see, there are different styles of connectors and there's also different size poles as well so you're able to make the shape of the tent itself. And I'm just adding in the final few poles and connector pieces together and it should be completely set up, but I just wanted to make sure I had the right sizing and idea of it, but there are netting pieces that you're meant to add to the poles. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's a gorgeous light pink color and I'm just making sure it spreads out evenly and I'll connect the pole back together and there's one for either side of the tent. 
And now the next step is to add the structure to the platform and there are a total of four attachments that are on the bottom of the platform there so I'm just making sure everything stays like so. And once everything is in place, the next step is to add the cover over the top of the structure itself. It does have a really lovely design and it's not too bright and it matches a lot of the other accessories a part of the set as well. So there are two pieces of ribbon, one on either side so you're able to tie it to the pole so it's able to stay in place. So I'm just going to tie a bow on either side. And as you can see, this item covers both sides of the top of the platform tent and also the entire back section too. Let's go ahead and add in the different accessories that are a part of the set. The first item we have here is the mattress. It's a lovely light pink color to match a lot of the accessories a part of the set. It is quite large, so we're just going to be placing it towards the side of the tent. And the next item we have here is the blanket. It's a purple and pink color. It has a lovely design on the front and it's a very thin material. The set also comes with a pillow and a throw pillow, so the pillow itself is a light pink color to match the mattress, and then the throw pillow features a koala, and I love the mint green featured on the pillow too. What I really like about the set is how you can decorate it. So there are these hook attachments that you can place towards the back of the tent and you can move them around depending on where you want to display the different items. So I placed the hook just towards the side here so I can display this Wildflowers of Australia poster. And there are a total of six different types of flowers on the poster itself. Another decor item that's a part of the set is this clothes pin photo hanger and there's a total of eight photos and four clips so you can choose to display four photos at a time and the photos are themed to different Australian nature scenes and also wildlife too. And as for the clips itself, they don't open and close, they stay in place and once you place them into the clip, they just stay like so. So the photos that I ended up choosing to display was a beach scene, a kookaburra photo, a koala photo and a kangaroo one too. So all I've done is I've placed one of those hook attachments to the back of the platform tent and I'm just adding the clothespin photo hanger to the back so it's able to be displayed. And I think this is a wonderful decor item to be featured in the room and it suits the poster perfectly. And as for the other side of the room, I'll be placing down the vanity. There is a sink that's attached to one side of the vanity and there are two cubes for storage. So over towards one side, I'll be placing down some dry shampoo and as you can see, the bottle is very bright and colorful. There's also a tissue box with a lovely flower design at the front and then towards the other side, I have some towels and there is a total of two and they're identical. So now that we've organized the storage section of the vanity table, let's go ahead and display some items next to the sink. So first off, we have some beach rose hand soap, and then there's also some insect repellent as well, and there's a picture of a lavender at the front. And right in front of that, I'll be adding in a toothbrush, and that's a really bright orange color, and then we also have a tube of toothpaste. And right towards the side of the bed, I'll just be placing down a magazine and it says Aussie animals on the front and it features different photos and information about different Australian animals. One of my favorite furniture items a part of the set would definitely have to be this seat cushion. It is so soft and it's very lightweight as well. I love it a part of this room setup and it's so pretty too. So all I'm doing right now is placing the photos I didn't choose to display and then we also have a camera too. There is a hook that's already attached to either side of the platform tent, so I'm going to be placing the sign on one of them, and it says welcome on one side and good day on the other side. And what's really great about the mirror is that there is an attachment on the back, so you're able to clip it to the back pole so you can choose whether or not to display it. And as for the front of the tent, there is this gorgeous decor item that's a lovely light pink color to match the netting that's already been displayed towards the side. So all I'm doing right now is attaching it to the pole. There are a few velcro pieces so it's able to stay in place. And I do have one more item to add to the platform tent itself and it is a lantern. It's such a pretty gold color and I'll be displaying it at the front. It does come with batteries and it does flicker to make it look as realistic as possible. Here we have an overview of the comfy platform tent completely set up. It does come with some really great accessories and what's really great about the set as well is once you're finished having it all set up, it's very easy to pack away so perfect for storage too. Now it's time to take a look at one of Julie's main furniture pieces. I'm excited to take a look at Julie's groovy bed and bedding. Seems like it's a lot of fun, so let's go ahead and take it out of the package. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pillows and cushions. So here we have a pillow right at the back. There's a flower design, which is really fun, and it's a lovely light pink color. And then we have some decorative pillows, which I really like too. The pink one says L-O, and then the purple one says V-E. And also what I like about it is if you'd like to make it a little bit more modern, there's no style at the back, so you could also display it like this on the bed too. Up next we have the main bedding itself. It's definitely very bright and colorful. There's a flower theme to it. There's different styles of flowers. And then on the other side, it's a light pink and you can see there's some purple stitching too. 
Here is the canopy, and you're meant to place that over the top of the bed, which is why the material's like so. It's a light pink color, and there's some purple stitching on the side too. And here is the mattress. It's a light pink color, and it doesn't seem to be very full. It seems to be quite thin, which is interesting. So I'm excited to see what it will look like on the bed. So here we have all of the main pieces to the bed. Obviously, this one is meant to go over the top, and then the canopy goes on top of it, and these are meant to drape down, which is definitely a lot of fun. And then all of these do seem really secure and sturdy, so I'm going to go ahead and build it. It does come with instructions, so that will be very helpful. And here we have an overview of Julie's bed. It was very easy to assemble, and I love the bedding and the pillows too. It's definitely perfect for Julie's collection. And the next bed set that we'll be taking a look at is Rebecca's bed and bedding set. Rebecca is a historical character from American Girl, and her storyline is based around the year 1914. So all I need to do is unwrap the packaging from the set so we're able to take a look at the different items. So now that we've removed everything from the packaging, let's go ahead and take a look at the first item. Here we have the bedspread. There's so much detail to it. So here's a classic item that would have been available back in Rebecca's time since she's, of course, a historical character. You can see that there is a thread and stitching design all across the middle here and over on the side as well. There are multiple different layers too, and that's a gorgeous blue color. And we also have some stitching in the middle. It's really hard to see, but it's actually in white. This has a little bit of thickness to it. You can see this is just completely thin and it goes on both sides and also on the end too. So let's go ahead and take a look at some more items included in the set. There's the bolster, the bolster pillow, and the throw pillow as well. I really love how there's really similar stitching to the throw pillow as there is to the bolster itself. And the stitching over on the side matches the blanket that I showed earlier too. So you can see this is absolutely gorgeous. It's quite a hard material, and then there's also space here, so you're able to place the bolster pillow inside. I really like how you can make the bolster pillow quite modern. It's a gorgeous blue color, and it's really small, and it came like this, so it is actually meant to go in there like so, and then you can turn it around, and then here's the small little throw pillow. Before we take a look at the bed frame, here's the mattress. It is blue and white stripe to match the bolster pillow. It seems very cozy and comfortable, really great for the bed itself. So here we have the bed itself. Of course, it's dismantled, so it does fit in the box, and you have to build it yourself, but it does seem very simple. I actually have the bed face upside down, I just realized, because you're meant to attach the pieces at the bottom. Here we have the base of the bed, and then we also have these two items as well. One goes at the top, and one goes at the bottom. So let's go ahead and attach those to see how it looks. So now it's time to go ahead and attach this item. So I'm going to place the larger one at the back there. And that should go in like so. And then here we have the smaller piece over at the front. So I've already placed the mattress down, so it's a little bit easier, but now it's time to go ahead and place this accessory over the top so that can go right at the end there. And then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to push this one through and underneath so you can't see the mattress and that goes through that small section and then let's add that second attachment and that looks like it's all finished and then we can add the bolster pillow so there's the bolster with the bolster pillow and then also the throw pillow as well this set is so gorgeous i absolutely love the detail to it and it just looks so realistic and here we have an overview of Rebecca's bed and bedding set together. Overall, I would definitely recommend it, especially if you have Rebecca a part of your collection. The quality of the bed itself is really great, and if you style it with different blankets and pillows, you can definitely make the bed itself more modern too. This item is not an actual bed set, but it is a sleeping bag set. It's from Courtney's collection, so it's a historical accessory item from the year 1986, and it is called Courtney's Care Bear Sleeping Bag Set. So let's go ahead and open it up. So in case if you're wondering, the set itself retails for $36, but the first item we have here is the sleeping bag, but I've completely opened it up so you can see the whole design across the bag itself. We have different Care Bears, there's hearts and stars, and there's even some flowers as well. It is so bright and colorful, there's a rainbow across the middle with different clouds, and we also have the Care Bear logo over at the top, and it's styled as a heart. In case if you're wondering, this is what the inside of the sleeping bag looks like. It matches the night shirt, and it's a gorgeous light blue color. And here we have the sleeping bag zipped up, so it zips open on one side and then also along the end there as well. And here's what the other side looks like too. And the zipper is very easy to open and close as well. 
Let's take a look at the pillow. So there's the Care Bear logo over towards the middle and there's a heart too. There's different stripes of pink, yellow, green, and light blue. The pillow itself is a dark blue and the back is completely plain so you can choose to have it plain or you can choose to have the logo facing the front. And the last item is the plush and I'm so glad that they included this a part of the set. I think it ties in with the PJs and the sleeping bag perfectly. It is of a Care Bear and there are so many hearts. There's a heart on the nose, there's hearts on the feet, and then there's also a heart over to the side. It's a light blue color and it's so incredibly soft and here's what the back looks like too. The set also comes with a collector's guide, but it's the exact same as the other one, so I won't be showing it, but this set is definitely a wonderful addition to Courtney's collection. Again, I love how it ties in with the PJs perfectly, and the Care Bear plush is so adorable, so let's move right along to the next item. And here we have another sleeping bag set. It's called the Explore the Parks Accessory Set, and it is a part of the Truly Me line. It comes with a sleeping bag with multiple different accessories as well. The first item in the set is the sunglasses. They're a gorgeous green color to match a lot of the other items in the set, and there's a striped design on the side too. There are a total of two bumper stickers in the set. The first one says National Parks, and it has a purple background with the pink star design, and the second one says America's National Parks, and I do really love the watercolor theme. They're yellow and pink, and there's a light blue background for that item. And they are styled to be like stickers, so you can remove the sticker part from the back. And here we have some socks, they're grey and blue, and they seem to be quite thick and they're made out of a great material. A great addition to the set is the Nature Field Journal. I just love the amount of detail to this item. The front cover is really pretty. We have that watercolor style with the light blue, but inside of the book itself, it's filled with different information about nature and wildlife, and there's also different activities on each page. So for example, this page is about a word search, and the next page is about animal tracks. An adventure set wouldn't be complete without some hiking boots, so the set does come with a pair of boots. The front of the shoe does have some red laces, which definitely gives the set a pop of color. And right at the top of the shoe, there's a silver buckle on either side, and here's what the bottom of the shoe looks like. One of my favorite items in the set would definitely have to be the sleeping bag besides the backpack, which I'll be showing you next. But I absolutely love the color scheme. There is orange, green, and pink mountains, and there is a zipper that opens and closes on the side and the bottom, and it's stitched on the other side. If we take a look at the inside of the sleeping bag, it's made out of a cloth material, and there is a lovely nature design. It's light blue, and there are a lot of pastel colors used. As I said before, the other item in the set that I love is the backpack. It is so pretty. I love the pastel colors used in this particular set, but especially for the backpack. It's orange, and you can see the top and the bottom of the bag match the boots that are a part of the set. There's a star design on top of the orange pattern on the backpack, but the clip does open and close the bag itself, and it seems like there's plenty of room for storage. And let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the set. There are two straps and they're a gorgeous light pink color. And what's interesting about the straps at the bottom of the set is that there's two elastic pieces so you can attach the sleeping bag at the bottom. So that's really perfect for when you're exploring the outdoors. As I said before, if you love exploring the outdoors and nature, I would definitely recommend purchasing the set. It does come with some really great items. I do really love the addition of the straps just below the backpack so it holds a sleeping bag. I think that's a really lovely feature and the accessories are really great quality too. And the set does also come with a nature themed collector's guide as well. Overall, it was really great to open and review these different bed and bedding sets. Be sure to comment down below your favorite items. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.